day, YouTube. Today we're going to take just a little bit of a peek at Kubuntu through the years, but just the long-term service releases. So these are the ones that come out every two years on an even year in April and uh, have five years of support each. So these are actually all still supported. Even this Kubuntu 2018 version, which is uh, aptly named Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, so that's actually still supported till 2023. Now, uh, let's just have a little bit of a fun visual compare and, and look at these things. Uh, for instance, I like to jump into the context menus, which are a bit of a much of a muchness, some slight tweaks in, in looks there. If we were to go across to the start menu of sorts for all three of these, now they've certainly changed it with the most recent release on the right hand side, so Kubuntu 22.04, and it's a little bit it's actually been redesigned as opposed to the Kubuntu 20.04 and the 18.04 on the left sides there. Now, uh, what I actually do like about the older version is you've got automatically, you click the start menu, you can, you can go to really oftenly used things such as uh, the console, which is you know the terminal or the file manager there. The, the newer version uh, does that, but uh, kind of hides it to the right there. In fact, I've just already lost it there again. I suppose we can go to places and get all these details there as well. But uh, not exactly the same, no, not a bad thing still, just a bit of a change in look and feel. We can go to applications here as well and uh, look at a few things. And in terms of the applications, and it's really throwing me off here, I might just start with one. Uh, it's really throwing me off. So we've got to have some of that education apps, graphics apps, uh, back to the, the internet apps there. I don't like to double click, I'd rather it just load up what it's trying to show me here. Uh, internet apps, office apps, that sort of thing. Uh, pretty much the same with the middle release version, so the Kubuntu 20.04 release. And the right hand side, let's just see if we can get a feel so we can see the applications. I just love how it's a little bit easier to use. You can hover over and see exactly the apps that you want there, so a little bit nice. Hey, the main thing is, as long as it's got that search menu there, then that makes us all pretty happy there. In fact, oh, that is one thing missing with the very old version. It doesn't have the search functionality unless we, oh no, type to search. It's just kind of hiding. No, maybe it is. Type to search, so we can't see it. We have to automatically just uh, start typing away. Okay, so that's interesting enough. Uh, let's go across to, say, the uh, the file managers here. Let's see what they look like. So we are running with the, uh, the Dolphin file manager, which is uh, a de facto standard with any Kubuntu release. Kubuntu is actually based on the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So KDE Plasma is always going to use, uh, almost always going to use the Dolphin file manager as it just seems to integrate nice and well with it the way that they're designed together really and let's load this up and not a great deal of differences differences just from a visual comparison even the icons are pretty much the same except for color scheme there for that one but um, yeah much of a muchness really I'd have to say as long as you can right click and open terminal which is uh, what you can do the thing about uh, Kubuntu or the KDE Plasma desktop environment I should say is that you do have all the options but you usually have to go one level in to find some of these things oh here we go that's perfect so the, the newest and latest release has really put the, the terminal to the forefront there just to allow you to um, to jump into it, so that's good. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe we'll just take a little bit of a peek at the, uh, the back end there and see what's going on. So load that up here. What's this X message? Get out of that. And we'll see, so the kernel. So we're using the 5.4 kernel for the Kubuntu 18 release. We are using the 5.13 kernel for the Kubuntu 20 release. And we're using the, the kernel of 5.15 for the Kubuntu 22.04 release. So certainly a bit of an update as the years have gone by. If you've got some newer hardware, you probably want to work with one of these two later releases because they happen to have uh, extra kernel information regarding CPU microcode or Wi-Fi cards or graphics cards, even sound cards, you name it. Uh, the, the later the release, the better support it does have for your physical hardware. All right, so uh, last but not least, and take this last one with a real grain of salt, uh, to say the least, but uh, just have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. So on the Kubuntu 18.04 release, about 560 megabytes of RAM on boot up. On the Kubuntu 20.04 release, 530 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so a little bit optimized or changed there, a little bit more lightweight. And Kubuntu 22.04 uh, latest release, 645 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So 
Uh, it's not really in order here. I, I do generally, as the years go by with the newer releases as they come out, expect uh, there to be larger size kernels and applications and all desktop environments to use more RAM. But uh, I guess you could say it, it, it's gone up over the years generally, although the Kubuntu 2018 and Kubuntu 2020 seem to uh, yeah, I'd be out of lockstep there, surprisingly. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Uh, thanks for, for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.